it's not bad. It certainly feels muggy, but the rain has come to an end, at least briefly. I know we're still dealing with it in some parts of Onondaga County, but here on the weather deck, dry conditions. Uh, I know that we've had over or we're going to have over 15 hours of daylight today, so get outside while you can if it's still sunny in your area. Here's where the showers and storms are on live triple Doppler radar brought to you by Falso service experts. They've really popped up over the past hour or two pretty randomly, and that's the uh, nature that these are going to be like for the next couple of days as we work into the afternoon and the heat and humidity continue to rise. You can see some lightning associated with it, some brief heavy downpours. Just keep in mind if you are going to be out this evening, you may need that umbrella very briefly. And then as we get closer to sunset, all of that activity should wind down 75 right now in Syracuse after reaching 90 degrees earlier today. Pretty fitting for summer 84 in Fulton, 83 Watertown, 87 in Rome and down to 82 in Cortland. Our humidity levels, they're pretty sticky out there, at least here in Syracuse. We're now sitting at a dew point of 70, and that's why it feels so muggy. Other places not as bad in the low 60s, and really over the next few days, we are going to see the dew points spike a little bit, especially Monday and Tuesday afternoon. That's when it's going to feel much more humid. And then by the middle of the week, we will start to see some slightly more refreshing air build on in as those dew points drop. For the rest of tonight, isolated showers and storms will be around once we get past past 8 9 o'clock the future cast looks a lot quieter a partly cloudy sky overnight with some fog developing and by early tomorrow morning starting off Father's Day with a mostly sunny sky temperatures quickly rising back on into the 70s and the mid and upper 80s tomorrow afternoon we may get close to reaching 90 once again and when, as we get past lunchtime you can see how similar to today isolated showers and storms begin to develop they will be slow moving any that do develop should come to an end as we get closer to sunset and we keep that similar Similar pattern even as we go on into next week. So for Father's Day, look for a high temperature near 87 degrees. A few storms will be possible in the afternoon, so make sure you keep an eye to the sky if you do have outdoor plans. 87 on Monday, getting closer to 90 on Tuesday. That might be the day when it feels the most humid with scattered showers and storms likely in the afternoon and evening, and then a little bit cooler by Wednesday.